All right, battery works. Battery works. Oh, easy. Tripping over the weed whip, but we're gonna pull this car out, pull my car out, and push his car back, and then we're gonna pull the motor out of that thing. Yeah. Something Sound flying. good? All right. Well, you get behind there. You clean out all the crap behind it so we can push it back. I'm gonna fire up my car and get it the hell out of here. Sound good? Works. All right. <clears throat> now no slacking, cause I got the hard job. <laughs> All right, let's see if she works. Oh yeah, no problem. Now we actually uh, took this carburetor off the other day and put it on his car just to see how well it ran. His car basically ran like a top, so uh, we just have to adjust his carb a little bit and make it run a little better, but it runs pretty good now. We've got that sort of tweaked out, so I suppose I'll shut the hood and move this thing. You're going to fire this thing up and move it now? Yeah. We try. What do you mean we can try? I know it works. <laughs> just don't hit nothing when you back up, huh? <clears throat> Oh, come on. Couldn't have dried out in two days. All right, hang on. Go, Juice. That'll get you going. Hang on, let me shoot you again. I gotta get the gas up to the carb. There you go. You think you're out of gas? Well, I don't know. We haven't built it in forever. Yeah. Left? No. Bring me my breath. Hit it again. <laughs> Did you move the gap? Did you? I'm gonna close the choke. Uh, hit the gas. All right. Choke was just open a little bit. <laughs> I think we're out of gas. I think we're out. Well, once you get it running, I'll squirt some in there, and we'll just you just go back and don't hit nothing. Okay. Uh, gasoline. Well, see what it'll start. All right, then. Let's go, Juice. Back up. <laughs> nope. Not enough, huh? Hit the, hit the gas. All right. Now it should run. Now just back it up. Don't hit the gas. What the hell with it? We'll just push it. We'll just push it. Uh, I want you to sweep it up into a snow shovel, and then uh, we'll throw it in the dumpster. But I tell you, 4,800 pounds. You said it was. 4,800. That's a pain to push. I wish we hadn't run out of gas. That sucked. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, maybe if we can get it soon enough. All right, well, our first task, I think, is going to be getting that hood out of the way so that uh, we can actually work in there and pull the motor out. Okay. Figure that'll be easy enough. We'll leave the hinges in. I don't see any reason to pull them out, so just two bolts each side, maybe three on yours. Nope. Yep, three on yours, two on this one. <laughs> One's missing. We'll pull that out. It's going to be heavy as hell, so it'll definitely take two people. 
So let's get it out. Let's scratch the paint. Yeah. Ready, ready to take the hood off? Try it. Well, that's gonna be fun. Now you basically you gotta hold the uh, hold the hood while you take that thing off. And hang on to it. Because it's gonna wanna come down and it's gonna wanna slide back. So once you get it finally loose. Actually I can probably hold it up. I hate those old heavy hoods. All right, now what we're gonna have to do is uh, we're gonna pull that radiator out. So undo the bottom hose there, put that drain pan underneath it, and drain uh, the coolant out of it. And then uh, we'll take uh, all the other hoses off. Oh, I see my top hose is leaking too. Well, we're getting four new clamps anyway, so that's what we'll do first, pull the radiator out. Yeah. So, chop to it. All right, got the radiator out. Now we're working on the uh, cooling fan there. I'm gonna pull that out of the way so she hopefully slides out real nice. And uh, we're gonna have to pull these power steering lines too. Just pull them out of the way. I uh, don't think we'll have to touch the booster. Oh, hey, that's why it wasn't running. Huh. We forgot to uh, cap off the booster. Remember? The booster was leaking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we forgot to cap that off. That's why she wasn't Lay running. Down. All right, well. <laughs> I wish I would have found that out sooner. I wouldn't have had to push 4,800 pounds of crap backwards. But yeah, yeah, it was a little bit. Okay, so I want you to repeat for the camera what you said after you found the right wrench on the first try. What did I say? I think you said something along the lines of, I could do this for a living. Oh, I could totally do this for a living. <laughs> well, yeah, I think those are the last two lines up top that we got to get. And we got the little lifter bolted up and, uh, and then we can crawl underneath and start disconnecting stuff. And uh, should be able to yank her, hopefully tonight, if it doesn't get too dark. Oh, he brought up the Seneca. What? Yeah, Seneca. There you go. I told you I'd show you it to you again. <laughs> They're getting harder to turn. So do you still want to be a, a pro at this, a mechanic? Hell no. <laughs> well, you think this is bad. You got a whole car to restore. Wow. All you're doing now is taking the drive shaft off. That's a pain in the ass. Things by a car left. Well, you think? My brother was some type of professional. Then we get this stuff done. Well, if my brother had some money. Oh, oh wait, some money. wait, yeah, my brother does, so why don't you buy me a car lift? <laughs> I've done enough work for you, I think you owe me. Yeah. You get Mountain Dew out of the deal. Yeah, where's my Mountain Dew? I have no Mountain Dew. Yeah, yeah exactly. Nothing for me. Nothing That's why uh, you're under the car and I'm sitting in this nice comfy chair. <laughs> 
You want me to shift it? Did I loosen it? Well, we're getting there. We got the drive shaft off, now we're just getting the linkages out of the way. And then we'll uh, start pulling everything else out. Then we'll be ready to pull the motor, hopefully. Got it? Yep. Sweet. So, this is how you work on a Cadillac, huh? Fucking pain in the ass bolts. Do you jump on the engine to even get at them. Do you even know what you're taking off? Anything attached <laughs> would be the uh, general consensus. Well, at least you don't own like a Honda or a Toyota or anything newer than like 1975 because you'd have a sure hell of a time uh, crawling up in there and doing that. Yeah. Good thing I don't drive those. Well, you got a Buick. You can still get in a Buick. They're pretty big. Well, my brother called it a night last night before we got the engine out. He's got uh, an hour drive home and he had to work in the morning, so didn't get it out last night but uh, it's almost ready to go we got uh, all the stuff disconnected from the transmission and engine and all that's left to do now is to uh, crawl under here and get the uh, two motor mounts one on this side one on that side and then the uh, the uh, transmission mount in the back here it's got to come off and then we should be able to pull the motor out uh, he said he was might come tonight, but more likely probably next week. He's got some time to come out, so he'll come out then and uh, we'll get her done. Kind of a slow going project because I, uh, I sort of made him do all the work, or at least the, most of the nut and bolt turning because uh, this is a car he bought so he can learn on, so I figured stuff him under the car and <laughs> make him work. But it'll get done one way or another.